I don't like doing this with my dog in the room because he just stares at me. And, but then when I stare at him, he like averts his eyes as if he wasn't staring. Yeah, just did it. And again. <sighs> anyway. Um. Oh no. Okay. Now I'm ready. Well, hello there. A hearty welcome and thank you for joining. So for today's video, I thought it would be a fun idea to do a monthly favourites video because these videos are actually one of my favourite videos to watch. It's like this style of video and vlogs are probably my two favourite style of um, videos to watch. So I thought, why not have a go at making one? So that's what I'm going to do. So these are my... What was last month? March. These are my March favourites. My first favourite from March is this, which is the Clearasil Daily Clear Vanishing Pimple Clearing Cream for clearer skin every day. I should have worked in infomercials. But um, basically, this product uh, promises to keep your skin clear from imperfections and pimples and breakouts, um, which is great. I've never really had skin that's been that bad, like I don't really get that many um, pimples or skin imperfections, but I think it works. So I've noticed a difference, so I would recommend it. Lucky, you need to behave or else you need to go. My next favourite is the Nivea Men Sensitive Cool Post Shaving Balm with zero alcohol for no burning. Which is great. So basically, um, for women out there that are watching, um, this is for when you shave your face, you just pop a little bit of this on after you've shaved your face and um, basically it just helps with skin irritation. But um, yeah, it's been great. It does exactly what it says. It cools your face um, post-shave and it is a balm so it doesn't lie to you. The product description fits perfectly with the action uh, that it performs. So, for that reason, I would recommend it. The next product is a product that I have been using on my hairs, um, and it is the VO5 Heat Protect Styling Spray. Now, this product promises heat defense up to 230 degrees Celsius, which is pretty hot. Um, I think it's mainly designed for, like, um, hair straighteners and, uh, like, hair curlers, but I use it for, um, hair dryer. Um, and I just think it, it helps to keep your hair feeling nice and soft and smooth after you use a hairdryer because sometimes after you've used a hairdryer um, your hair can feel kind of like straw-like and really just dry and gross but I find that this really helps with that so that's why I'll recommend that. Now moving on to some technology based favourites. Um, my first technology based favourite is this. This is a battery or a portable electronic device charger. Um, so I use it for my phone. So basically, it's just like a little block. It's really small. It's kind of heavy, but you don't really like notice it in a bag or anything. Um, and you plug your phone charger cord in there and then plug it into your phone and it charges your phone on the go. And yeah, I've just found that it's been great if you're going somewhere um, where you may not have access to a PowerPoint or anything to plug your phone in. If you just take this with you, plus your little phone cable, works a dream. It's just, it's great. I'd really recommend anyone that's been thinking of buying one, I'd just say just go and buy one, because they're really useful. I've used mine a lot. My next favourite is a favourite that unfortunately I can't show you, because it's my camera that I'm using to film this video on. Um, but it's been really great. It's the Canon EOS 70D camera. It's really easy to use, like, for such a good quality camera, so... If you're looking to purchase a camera for making videos or photography or whatever, I would highly recommend this camera. It is kind of expensive, but you pay for the quality and the ease of use in relevance to the quality, I think is pretty good, so I would recommend this camera. My next favourite is somewhere in this clip. Oh, can you see it? Can you guess what it is? Can ya? Can ya? Haha. <laughs> it's this candle. Um, but I have another one here, because I really liked it. Um, it is a fragrant soy rich wax candle, and it's fragranced vanilla and fig. Mm. 
It just smells really nice, and it's strange because I don't usually like kind of sickly sweet smelling candles. I usually prefer much like fresher smells. But um, this one I really like. It comes in a cool little mason jar, which is also kind of fun. Um, I think I got it from, yeah, it's from Kmart, and I think they were like, maybe like five or six dollars. They weren't that expensive, but they're nice, and they look cool in the background of my video. Because of this candle, this video is hashtag not sponsored by Kmart. Check out kmart.com.au slash your local Kmart store to check out more incredible products such as scented candles, homewares, pet items, electronics, clothes, and stuff. My next favourite is also in the frame of this video, and it is the other two smaller candles that are beside the bigger candle. Um, but they're not actually candles in themselves, they're like uh, tea light holders, but basically they're just cut glass. Um, I got them from Ikea, which means they're probably like 20 cents each. You probably can't see it, but um, because it's cut glass with the um, flame on the inside, it kind of like projects the pattern of the glass out. So. I don't think you can see it, but kind of on the wall behind it, it like projects the little pattern. So wherever you sit them down, there's kind of like a nice little pattern around where it is, but they look really cool. In, especially in the dark as well, they're really cool. So, really like those. My next favourite is another kind of homewares-y one, um, but it's these mugs. <laughs> um, I love mugs. Like, mugs are one of my weaknesses. I have a real love of homewares in general, mugs in particular, um, but I really loved these mugs because I really like the pattern on them, because that's cool and funky, and I think they're just like the perfect size for a cup of tea or um, maybe like a bit big for a coffee, but I suppose if you're a coffee lover, um, that's, I assume that's the perfect size for a cup of coffee, I don't know. Um, these are from Laura Ashley Home, and I purchased these on my most recent trip to the UK. However, they were on super sale. Um, I think they were probably like three or four pounds each. Um, so I don't know if they'd still have them. But if they do, they're great. I would check out Laura Ashley anyway, because they have great homewares. My next favourite I also purchased on my most recent trip to the UK, and it's this pair of shoes. They are just, they're like brown leather shoes, um, but they're not like smart dress shoes, they're kind of like casual leather shoes, and I really liked that. Um, you'd never find anything like these in Australia, and if you did, they'd be ridiculously expensive. Um, and these were kind of expensive, but they were on sale, so I was like, well, whatever, and I'll never get them here, so I thought, just go for it. But they are from, well, they're not from Orca Bay, but they're designed by Orca Bay. I got them from a really small uh, shoe shop in Ludlow um, in the UK, but I don't remember the name of the shop. But they had, like, all these really cool handmade leather shoes, and I really liked these ones. So I got these. It's my holiday, I'll spend the money on what I want. My next favourite probably should be included in April's favourite because Easter was in April, but chocolate. I think chocolate is just an annual favourite, or it should be. Um, if chocolate isn't an annual favourite of yours, um, I think you seriously need to take a look at your life, um, see where your priorities lie, and um, just sort yourself out. Oh, chocolate. What a nice moment we just had. Okay, smashed it, done. I'm pretty sure that's like the least amount of time it's ever taken me to film a video. I didn't like refilm bits. Oh, I'm getting so good at this YouTube shit. But there we go, that's my March favorites video done. I hope you liked the content of the video. If you did, feel free to go and buy it yourself. I'm sure the businesses of which I purchased these things from would appreciate your business as well, and they should probably all give me a portion of the money that they make, because I'm sure most of the money that they will be making in the upcoming month will probably be because of this video, so I don't want to sound up myself, but I mean, I should probably get some kind of reward. Thank you so much for watching. Oh no. How do I finish videos again? Oh yeah. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. You can also comment and subscribe and all that other fun stuff as well. That would be great. But thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you next time.
Catch ya! Crushed it. This video is gonna be so easy to edit. That was literally like one take. Yes!